So the day has finally come. After seven strong, great years, it's time for me to sell my MacBook Pro. I purchased my 2009 MacBook Pro seven years ago through Apple's refurbished site. Never had a problem with it whatsoever. It works perfectly to this day. I could probably keep it and be fine with it because it still works great. But I do own a Mac Mini that I use almost all the time now because I'm doing a lot of video editing and my MacBook Pro doesn't quite handle 4K video editing very well, but it does work great for almost everything else. So I'm going to sell it, get a little bit of money back so I can purchase the new 2016 MacBook Pro because I think it is time for me to upgrade to it and I wanna give you guys a full review of that when it comes out. And maybe you're doing the same thing. Maybe you're selling your old MacBook Pro or MacBook in order to get the new updated version that's coming out this year. So that's why I did this video. I'm gonna walk you through the steps that you need to take before you sell or give away your MacBook or MacBook Pro. So the very first thing that you wanna do is back up your data. You should be backing up your data anyways, right? Now, I did a tutorial on how to use Time Machine to back up your data if you wanna check that video out. You can either use Time Machine or just copy and paste your data onto an external drive manually or dra drag and drop, however you wanna do it. The only thing you need, obviously, is the external hard drive. And the one I recommend is the Western Digital. I have the three terabyte version and I've never had a problem with it so far. And it takes a lot to fill this sucker up three terabytes and they also have a four terabyte option. The link will be in the description below for this external hard drive. So hook that up to your Mac and then copy your data over and make sure you have all your data copied over and then eject it and put it to the side. Now you're almost ready to start the wiping process of your MacBook. But before you do that, you need to do some things. You need to sign out of your iTunes. You also need to deauthorize your iTunes. So open that up and do those two things. You also need to sign out of your iMessages. So open up messages and then go to preferences and sign out of that account. And then also go to your system preferences and sign out of your iCloud account. Now, once you have all your data backed up to an external drive and you're signed out of all your Apple accounts on the Mac, you are now ready to restart it and go into the recovery mode and format the disk and then reinstall OS X. So restart your MacBook and right as it's restarting, hold down Command and the R key at the same time. And keep holding that down until you see that it's taking longer to start up and then you can let go. This is going to put it into recovery mode and it might take a few minutes for this to start up. But once it's started up into recovery mode, you should see these options. What you wanna do first is go into disk utility and erase your hard drive on your Mac. So find your hard drive in the list in disk utility. You should only have one, most only have one. I have two on mine because I installed the solid state drive. So I have a solid state drive and a regular hard drive in it, but you should just see one so click on yours and then click the erase tab and if you want to securely erase it click the security options and you can securely erase that disk and when you're ready to erase just click the erase button and depending on what security options you selected it may take a little while for it to erase but when it's done you can go ahead and close out of that window and then you can go to reinstall os 10. Now, before you continue doing this, make sure you are connected to your Wi-Fi network. If you go to the top right, you can connect to it there through your Wi-Fi option. Just click on your Wi-Fi and put in the password and make sure that it's connected before you continue. Once you're connected to the internet, you can go ahead and choose to continue to install OS 10. It'll probably ask you to sign in with your Apple account. So just use your Apple ID and, and password and it should start the process of reinstalling OS 10 now you can sit back, relax, and let it reinstall OS X for you. Uh, the time may vary depending on your internet speed, but it should be done in a couple hours. Now when it's finished installing OS X, it's gonna reboot into the welcome screen. And if you don't wanna go any further, just hit Command Q and shut down the Mac. So that's how to wipe and restore your MacBook or MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you can sell your old MacBook and get that new one for yourself. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I do Mac and Apple videos mm, a lot of the time. So subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you think of this process and let me know what Mac you're going to get next. Thank you for watching. My name is Andy and I will talk to you in the next one.